We have just received word from the U.S. Army that there is an unidentified flying object hurtling towards the Earth at an estimated 4,000 miles per hour and is expected to land in Washington, D.C. at about 2 o'clock this afternoon. We've come to visit you in good peace and goodwill. It was a gift for your leader. You could have used it to study other planets. Get this man to the hospital right away! Good evening, Mr. Harvey, Secretary to the President. I've been told that your name is Mr. Klaatu. Just Klaatu. The president was wondering... I need to meet with your representatives of all the nations. I'm afraid that'd be impossible at present times. We couldn't get everyone in the same room. Each every planet is at stake. I intend to explain, but not to one nation alone. Until there is a meeting, I cannot tell you my purpose here. This would be impossible, but I can arrange a meeting with the president. Perhaps if I spent some time with these people, I can better understand the strange ways. He's gone! Army officials declined to state how the spaceman escaped or what harm he could do towards the public. I'm sorry, what is it you want? My name is Carpenter, I'm looking for a room. This is Miss Benson and little Bobby and I'm Mrs. Crockett. Uh, right this way, I've got a room for you on the second floor. So, hey mister, where are you from? Oh, out of town. So, have you heard about the spaceman? I hear your ship can go a thousand miles an hour. Four thousand miles, actually, and even faster outside the Earth's atmosphere. Wow! Holy moly! Where did you get this? In some places, they use those for currency. Wow, that's really neat. Would you like one? Well, gee, sure, Miss Thanks, mister. <laughs> Hello, Helen Benson speaking. May I help you? Oh, hi, Tom. I was just getting ready to go to lunch. Listen, I'm at the jewelers. I'm having the diamond appraised as we speak. I thought we might have lunch together. That sounds wonderful, but I'm afraid that I have a short lunch today and I won't be able to come. I have a bad feeling about this carpenter fellow. I'm going to alert the authorities as soon as possible. I don't want to talk about it right now. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. 
Oh, Mr. Carpenter, I'm sorry. I really must go. I'm on my way to lunch. I'll be quick. I just wonder what Bobby said to you last night. Oh, I didn't pay much attention to him. He's got such an active imagination. Do you believe what he said? I really must go. I'll go with you. So what is it you want? There's something I have to tell you, but there's something you have to know first. What happened? What time is it? Just 12. I guess we'll be in here for a little while, about 30 minutes. Maybe if we try pressing the buttons or something. It won't work. The electricity has been, has been neutralized all over the world. There is something strange about you. Bobby was right. Who are you? What are you? Wait, where are you going? Back to the boarding house. You and Bobby are the only people that know about me. No, we're not. Tom knows too. He saw the diamond. I must get back to the ship. I'm worried about Glort. What he might do if anything happens to me. Is there anything I can do to help? He might destroy the world, but if you just tell me three words, Natu, Brata, Nikto. Repeat after me. Quatu, Brata, Nikto? Quatu, Brata, Nikto. Okay. <coughs> ah! Oh no! I'm going to the ship! Glotu, Brada, Nikto. Glotu, Brada, Nikto. I came here to give you the facts. It is no concern of ours how, how you run your own planet. But if you threaten to extend your violence, this earth of yours will be reduced to burnt out cinder. Your choice is simple. Join us and live in peace or pursue your own present course and face your annihilation. We will be waiting for a response. The decision is yours.